Whiskers and the Brave Ladybug Once upon a time, in a colorful garden bursting with flowers and buzzing bees, there lived a playful cat named Whiskers. He had fur as soft as a cloud, eyes as green as emeralds, and a tail that always swayed with curiosity. Whiskers loved to explore the garden every day, leaping over bushes, sneaking behind trees, and chasing butterflies. But one day, while Whiskers was prowling through the tall grass, something shiny caught his eye. It was small, red, and covered in tiny black spots. Whiskers tiptoed closer, curious to see what it was. Suddenly, the tiny creature spoke. Hello. My name is Lila the Ladybug, she chirped in a cheerful voice. Whiskers tilted his head in surprise. You're so small. How do you do anything in this big garden? Lila smiled up at the giant cat. I may be small, but I'm brave and clever. I can fly high and fast and visit places you've never even seen. Really? Whiskers asked, with excitement. Show me. Lila spread her little wings and buzzed into the air. She zoomed around Whiskers' head, darting through flowers and over the bushes. Whiskers tried to follow her with his eyes, but she was too quick. Catch me if you can. Lila called as she zipped through the air like a rocket. Whiskers leaped into action. He bounded after her, jumping over rocks, skidding around trees, and racing through the grass. But no matter how fast he ran or how high he jumped, he couldn't catch up with Lila's tiny, buzzing wings. Just as they were having the time of their lives, a loud rustling noise came from the bushes. Both Whiskers and Lila froze. Suddenly, out from the bushes crept a big, scary snake. It was long and slithery, with sharp eyes and a tongue that flicked out like lightning. The snake hissed, and its eyes fixed on Whiskers. Whiskers first stood up in fear. He backed away slowly, his paws trembling. Oh no, he whispered. What do I do? The snake moved closer, its body coiling as it prepared to strike. But just then, tiny Lila flew right up to Whiskers' ear. Don't be scared, Whiskers. You're not alone. We can face this together. Whiskers' eyes widened. But you're so small. How can we stop a snake? Lila landed on his nose and gave him a brave smile. Sometimes, it's not about being big. It's about being smart and standing up for your friends. Follow me. With a quick flutter of her wings, Lila flew right up to the snake's face, buzzing loudly. The snake looked confused as Lila darted around, making circles in front of its eyes. While the snake was distracted, Lila called out, Whiskers, run to that pile of sticks. Whiskers snapped out of his fear and dashed over to the sticks, grabbing the biggest one in his mouth. He ran back and stood tall, holding the stick in front of him like a brave knight with a sword. Lila buzzed in front of the snake one last time, and with a hiss of frustration, the snake slithered away, disappearing into the bushes. Whiskers dropped the stick and let out a huge sigh of relief. We did it, he exclaimed, his heart still racing. Lila flew down and landed on his head. Yes, we did. See, Whiskers. It doesn't matter how small or scared you are. When we work together and use our smarts, we can be brave and strong. Whiskers smiled. Thank you, Lila. I was so scared, but you helped me be brave. Lila winked. That's what friends are for. From that day on, Whiskers and Lila became the best of friends. They continued to explore the garden, always ready for a new adventure, and they never forgot the day they faced the snake together. And the moral of the story is, true bravery isn't about being big or strong, it's about facing your fears and helping others, no matter your size. The end. For more videos like this please like and subscribe.